Hi everyone, today we are going to create a soft glam makeup look. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm starting with cleaning my face using a cleansing milk. But if you have washed your face and it's completely fine, you can completely skip this step. And the next step is to use a moisturizer. I'm using the Bobbi Brown cream here. Uh, this is slightly on the expensive side, but I really like this. Or if you want an alternative, which is much more affordable, then you can use Nivea's light moisturizing cream. But this gives a nice glow. Now I like to start my makeup with eyes. So here you see I'm using a concealer from Forever 52 for my eyelid area. Now you can use a small sponge like this one uh, to blend your concealer. Just don't be too harsh and soft blending would do. Now this palette is really really old from MAC which I have and I really like all the shades. Uh, for now I'm going to start with this dark shade and using a flathead brush which I will be using for my outer corner. So like this, when you have strong pigment, you can start with the lower eyelid area in the outer corner. And once you have less pigment, then you can start going around like we are doing currently here. Now I'm going to go with this nude shade and using it almost in the center of my eyelid area as well as I will use it in the inner corner as well. But I'm applying it only in the lower eyelid area. Now I will use this pretty shimmer shade for my inner corner to center and uh, this is a very pretty shade in this palette. It gives a very nice sheen on your eyes. This is an angled brush and I have gel eyeliner on it and I'm using it to create a perfect sharp wing in the outer corner. You can use a leftover to create a inner corner wing. Now this is a liquid eyeliner. I'm using it to give that intensity to our eyeliner look. Alright, so we are done with eyes and I'm using this L'Oreal Blurring Primer for my open pores. So once you're done with your eye makeup, you can start with your base. Now let's start with LA Girl Orange Color Corrector uh, to cover the pigmentation and some of the darkness we have. So I'm using it near my mouth area. As you can see, I have spread it on, on the back of my hand so that I don't use too much of quantity on my face. And I'm just using my finger to spread it all over. Like this, you will have a thin layer which will not create problem to cover later on. I have tanning on both sides of my forehead so I use the corrector here as well and then I have darkness in this under eye area so I always use corrector here or you can go with a dark shade concealer as well darker than your skin tone and this is a full coverage concealer again from forever 52 one of the good concealers really good if you want to buy one and I'm using a real techniques brush here uh, to now neutralize my orange corrector this brush is really nice if you're looking for good concealer brush uh, then you can go for this one you can use it to blend your concealer you can use it for contouring you can use it for powdering I actually end up using it for many purposes so yeah this is how you can neutralize your orange corrector now let's go with the foundation this is from bobby brown and today i'm going to go with a very light coverage so you can see that when i'm applying i'm really taking really really less quantity and i'm spreading it into very thin layers uh, because i don't want too much of coverage as i have already used full coverage concealer now i want a very light layer on my face so here i'm taking as less quantity as possible and spreading it on my face using this brush so time to blend it in uh, you can use this brush uh, sponge it's really nice again and blend your concealer foundation easily through this So this is from Maybelline, Maybelline Instant Age Refined Concealer. It's really thick and I like to use this as a brightener rather than concealer. As you can see, I'm using it on my forehead, under eye area, chin, nose and wherever I want to highlight. Again using the brush sponge here to blend it. I'm using a very small sponge and uh, there's powder in it. Uh, this is from K Beauty. I really like this powder. Before I start my eyebrows and lower lash line eye makeup, I like to set my eyes with powder uh, so that there's no creasing in that area. So for eyebrows, I really like Anastasia. However, there's a L'Oreal eyebrow palette. If you're looking for an affordable duo, that also works fine. 
and you can just fill in your eyebrows or give them any particular shape whichever you like uh, but yeah try to be not too dark or harsh there so for lower lash line i'm using the gel eyeliner and a very pointed brush now here because we are going for a soft glam i'm going to use blush in very less quantity again so that it doesn't look like i have too much blush on but at the same time i have that pigment on my cheeks i'm using liquid highlighter here to get that soft uh, shine which i really like <laughs> So I'm using lip liner from Anastasia and just creating the center outlining right now. And I'm just filling it in using Maybelline lipstick using a brush. And here is our final look. I hope you guys are liking it and did find this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked it. And I hope to see you soon guys. Thank you. Bye bye.